Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to download, install, and troubleshoot Java in Windows 10. So let's get started. Now, this computer already has Java installed, so what we're actually going to do is detour a little bit and strip out the version of Java that's on here. We'll go ahead and agree to this. In fact, let me go back a little bit here and show you what I'm doing. Uh, I did a search for Java removal tool. I'm going to go to the first link here, Java uninstall tool, by left-clicking on it. I'm going to left-click. I agree to the terms and want to continue. Now, you don't have to technically use the tool that I'm going to use. You can also actually just go into add remove programs and then go down to where Java is installed. But if you're having a problem with Java, the best thing to do is to start by making sure that there's no Java on there before installing the new copy of it. So here I could uninstall it, but to make sure that it's absolutely gone, I've downloaded the Java uninstall tool here, and I'm going to run it and strip out the current version. Now you can run this. If you don't find anything, that is totally okay. What we want is a blank slate to start on when we reinstall this. So let's see what we've got. Java currently uninstalled. Okay, perfect. We can also additionally check and see if Java is uninstalled by opening up a command prompt. That's going over to search here, typing in CMD, and then pressing enter. The command to verify whether Java is installed or not is java-version. Right now, it doesn't come up as anything, so we don't currently have Java installed on here. So let's go ahead and let's go back to our web browser here. Let's go to java.com and let's go download a new or latest copy of Java. So let's go ahead and left click on download Java. Let's left click here on download Java again. Now we have that version, but there are also other versions of it. In fact, this one will connect to the internet and download the installation files, but there are alternate downloads for Java. In fact, if you're having problems installing Java, your best bet is actually to look for the Java offline installer. And as we can see, it comes up here. First entry in our search. So I'm going to left click on that. And then that should take us to the offline installer page. Yep, here we go. Java for Windows offline installer. I'm going to go ahead and left click download Java. This is going to take a little bit longer than the other one. It's a much larger file but it's the entire Java program. It doesn't have to connect to the internet. And if you're having problems where a firewall or antivirus or something like that is blocking it, this version can be much more runnable than the one that connects to the internet. Speaking of which, uh, now that we've actually got these and now that we're to the point where we're gonna go ahead and install Java using the offline installer, we additionally want to make sure that there are no antivirus programs or anti-spyware programs running. Now on this computer, we don't have any. Uh, the Windows one will not block it, but if you have something like Norton or McAfee or any number of other ones, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go down here to the bottom right, click, left click the up arrow, right click on the antivirus program and put it to sleep, switch it to game mode, or quit, shut it down for the next 15 minutes or so. That can absolutely block your installation of Java and also can block using it, but that's another story. So we wanna make sure that it's disabled or otherwise turned off while we go ahead and we do the installation. So here we've got a couple of installation files. I actually downloaded the offline version let's see 56 megabytes so it looks like it's this one here it is java runtime environment 8u361 windows i586 okay perfect i'm going to double left click on it note that this was downloaded to the download folder if you need to get to that it's just a matter of clicking on the explorer link down here 
Back here, I'll open up a new one. Go into your download folder and then selecting or opening the file accordingly. All right, now I've got two options. I can install or I can remove it. In this case, I'm actually gonna go ahead and install it. So we'll let that do its thing. It does not have to go online and download anything. It should go pretty quick. And if everything is disabled like it should be, you should have no problem getting this installed. At the end of this, it should say you have successfully installed Java. Excellent. But to verify it, we're gonna go back to our command or CMD window and we're gonna do Java dash version to make sure you have it installed or to make sure I have it installed correctly. Now, if you look on here, you'll notice that Java dash version is not coming up. So let's go ahead, let's close everything down. In fact, I'll run that one more time because strictly speaking, that should have actually worked. There we go. Okay, once we closed everything and once we opened it back up again, we can now confirm that it is Java 1.8.0 underscore 361. Now you may additionally, before you do something that needs to use Java, want to restart your computer in order to make sure that it's completely loaded. But assuming you followed all the steps, you completely stripped it out, you disabled antivirus programs, you reinstalled, preferably using the offline installer if you've had problems in the past. At the end of that, go to the CMD that I showed you there, rerun, double check that's Java dash version in the CMD window and it should show you the version itself. We'll give this a second to reload and then I'm gonna show you something that actually uses Java so we can verify that it works. All right, now I've got this reloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and download a quick file. One of the more common things we've done on this channel is installed Optifine. So I think that would be a good trial program to test this with. Now I don't have Minecraft on here, so we're just going to check to make sure I can load the installer program. But I've gone to optifine.net, I've gone to downloads, I've clicked on the mirror. Oh, hold on one second. Are we connected to the internet? Yes, we are. Let's try that mirror one more time. Okay, this time it works. Give that a second. We're going to go ahead and click show in folder here. Close that in the background. It looks like we do have to wait a couple of seconds for this to finish because I need the working version of the file. There we go. Now here in Optifine, it uses Java to install it. So I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna left click open with, and now we have Java platform SE binary. It's a jar file. So it uses Java in the background to open it. I'm gonna click okay. And given a few seconds, yep, there's our installer. All right, I can verify both through there and I can verify through CMD that Java is installed. Here, let's uh, do that one more time. And that's it. Uh, these are a couple of things you can do. There are a lot more of them out there. If I can find a link to some of the troubleshooting steps. I'll try to put some more advanced ones, perhaps in the description here. But what I've shown you here is at least the bare essentials of what you want to do. So start there, and if you have any problems, go from there. Guys, thank you again for watching this video. This has been Tech on Tech. Have a great rest of your week.